Hello, everyone. Move the key. Do this. There you go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Danny Cam. You are the D Squad, and it is Monday. It is Monday evening. I'm well aware of that, but it is still Monday, which means we can do McKellar Monday Motivation. Hello, everybody. Join on in. Um, I am here in Vancouver right now. My name is Danica McKellar. I'm an actress, math book author, and Periscope lover, and many other things. Um, I, uh, I'm, not dancing. I'm not watching Dancing with the Stars right now. No, I'm not. Hey, everybody, come on in. Thank you for your shares. Thank you for joining up. Thank you for... Uh, hey, Joe Gatto. Um, so, how is everybody doing? Um, I am in Vancouver. I am shooting a project. I have been told again. I am not allowed to talk about it yet. But let's do a little bit of my color motivational. So, here's the thing. I have a lot going on. There's a huge big thing I'm about to do. There's a lot of lines to learn. And there's a quote from Deepak Chopra that I really like. And this is it. The best way to prepare for any moment in the future is to be fully present right now. Now, the best way to prepare for any moment in the future is to be fully present right now. And that has helped me so much and it's helping me right now because for example, I don't have to read the or learn the entire script right now. I just need to be present right now. Yes, live in the moment. Isn't that a great quote? I love it. It can apply to so many things. I would love to hear from you if you have anything that you see that like, oh my gosh, this makes sense for me in this particular way. But yes, I tend to be the kind of person who worries. I will worry about stuff. I'll think about everything I have to do, like for the next month. I'm like, how's this going to work? How's that going to work? What's going to happen here? What's going to happen there? And if I just remember something like that quote, just, oh, okay. So all I have to do is deal with right now, now. And maybe the best thing to do right now is to learn my lines for tomorrow. Maybe the best thing to do right now is to get some sleep. Maybe the best thing to do right now is to meditate. Maybe the best thing to do is just write a list. There's so many things. You learn that through therapy. That's how toddlers live. That's so true. Happy almost birthday, Lexi. Worry gets a lot of us. It really does. It's easy to do because there's a lot going on. We have very busy lives now. It's not. It, people talk about a simpler time. This is not a simpler time. This is a more complicated time. And so we are dealing with a lot of responsibilities, a lot of information coming at us, a lot of ways of getting information. And we all plan a lot of stuff because we can. But sometimes we have to remember that if we're like, if our brain is somewhere else, either in the past or the future, or really if it's anywhere but right now, we're gonna be more stressed out. So it is hard to slow down. Mind blown, I love that, Kevy. That makes me really happy. How do you turn those thoughts off? Meditation can help. Sometimes it's a matter of remembering those little quotes, these little catchphrases that help us so much. I'll repeat that one I just said. The best way to prepare for any moment in the future is to be fully present right now. And the great part about that is, is preparing. How do we prepare for big stuff? How do we prepare for anything in the future that might be on our minds and weighing us down? So part of preparing, part of being responsible is being present right now. And I love that. It, it takes the burden off. One breath meditation, or one breathe meditation, you said. Uh, insomnia, insomnia due to worrying? Absolutely, absolutely. I think we all do that. Prepare for a nice meal? That's a great idea. <laughs> Rick from Vancouver, we're in the same city. Yes, I'm in Vancouver and uh, prepare for the future needs visual focus. Yes, we can visualize what we want which is a lot different from wishing for something or worrying about it. Just see what you want. Just put it out there. That can help. Am I going to watch Dancing with the Stars tonight? I probably will not. Anybody want to guess what time I'm getting picked up in the morning tomorrow for work? Tomorrow is the first day of shooting this mystery project. Anybody want to guess what time I'm getting picked up? Four. Okay, well, close. Four, yeah. 4.54 for some reason is my pickup time. 4.54. I was like, why? Why is it, why, why couldn't it be five? I mean, we're just putting a four on it seems so unnecessarily cruel. <laughs> why? I'm not sure. And I really like to get my sleep. So I'm actually going to go to sleep really early tonight. Yeah. So yeah, isn't that funny? Why? I, I don't, two? Okay. So you guys are making me feel like it's not that impressive that I'm getting picked up at 4.54 with all these other, 
Yeah, four. Why Why does it have to be a four thing? I don't know. A lot of people stay up until four in the morning. I used to. Anyway, I have been to Vancouver before. I have shot here a couple times. I think it's a union thing for the driver is what I'm guessing. I'm not totally sure. <laughs> 11 a.m., how nice for you. I'll be like halfway through my day by then. Who's taking care of my son? His father is in Los Angeles. But they're going to come visit me next weekend. This coming weekend. My mom and my son. So, anyway, I am uh, I'm going to take off. And I will be Skyping. I'm not Skyping with you guys. I'll be periscoping with you guys uh, through the week here and there where I can. I'll show you my trailer. I'll show you whatever they let me show you. Because I can't talk about what the project is. Which is really funny to me. Anyway, thank you all so much. I appreciate all of your shares and all of your follows, and I love the D-Squad. I think you guys are awesome, and and uh, I will be seeing you guys very soon again for more adventures, uh, this time adventures on set. So have a wonderful day, and remember what I said, the best way to prepare for any moment in the future is to be fully present right now, whatever that means for you. Thanks for watching the Danicam. You are the D Squad. See you soon. Bye.